Hi guys, this is Robert Rivera with the Rivera Trading Group in association with Train Trading Academy. And this is Car Chats with Robert. Today's topic, focus. Focus is the number one thing that will keep you from succeeding at anything. Lack of focus, that is. Focus it means basically a singular thing that we're paying attention to and not many. So I have four things here that I'm going to discuss and hopefully you'll find this helpful. But number one, when it comes to focus, we need to eliminate all distractions. Uh, it, studies have shown that once you have been distracted on a task, it takes you about 25 minutes to get back on focus, okay? So that means that when you are trading, for example, you gotta eliminate everything that keeps your focus away from what you're doing. Uh, people talking to you, uh, sounds, uh, games, uh, anything on your desk, on your, on your desktop, a computer, on your phone, ringtones, uh, messaging, um, I turn off Telegram when I'm trading because it just beep, 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 beeps. And uh, it, it takes me away from the focus I need to have in order to get my entry, for example, or to get my exit, because sometimes the exit can be that quick. Okay, so eliminate all distractions, that's the number one. Number two, eliminate multitasking. Multitasking is a fallacy. There is no such thing as multitasking. I can't remember what's the terminology that was used. Uh, time sharing, I think. Uh, time sharing is it uh, the terminology that when it comes to multitasking you there's absolutely no way that you can focus and give your 100% attention to two things it's impossible you're either taking from one and giving to another that that's the truth okay so multitasking for example if you're trading don't be answering emails at the same time you know if you're trading don't be um, uh, writing doing schoolwork doing uh, doing your job for example uh, all those are terrible times to be trading because your attention is distracted you're not really paying attention and you could be looking for a specific entry take your mind away to something else and then when you come back you forgot what was it that you were looking for and now you see something else and you enter on that thinking that that's what you were looking for and after you were in is when you realize well, that's not what I needed to do and that's just a little too late. So eliminate multitasking. There's no such thing as multitasking. There's only one thing at a time that we can focus our full attention on. Okay, practice visualization. That's the third one. Practice visualization and imaging. That's what they call it in psychology, imaging. And that is basically um, imagining in your mind, you can close your eyes and imagine in your mind the perfect trade setup. Okay, you can see it coming to your position, you know, to your uh, support or resistance. And you can see that wick that you're waiting for, the rejections, you can take the reversal, for example. Or you can see the breakout and what that looks like and taking it then, or perhaps the retest as it is happening and taking it then. You know, you can see this, you can practice this, by the way. If you practice visualization, it's gonna help you focus because your mind will begin looking for exactly what you are practicing. Uh, I mean, studies have shown many times, I mean, this is not one, I mean, this is hundreds of studies have shown that you can visualize and get results exactly the same as if you were doing them. There's a study specifically uh, about uh, shooting free throws, basketball free throws, and a group of people were told to shoot the free throws for a whole month, and another group was told not to shoot the free throws at all for a whole month, just to visualize doing so for about 30 minutes, okay? At the end of the month, they came together and actually shot the free throws, and both groups scored equally. Imagine that. There's other studies on uh, muscle strength. You know, some people were told to uh, do this exercise, a specific exercise, if I remember, was a wrist muscle or was a finger muscle, I can't remember. And they were told to do these exercises to strengthen that muscle. And they did it for, I can't remember what was the period of time. Perhaps it was 30 days, perhaps it was more. And then the other group were told to only visualize um, doing so. The group that visualize uh, can I say, there was three groups one to do nothing one to visualize and one to actually lift and, and work out the group that did nothing saw no improvement the group that visualized got about 80% of the strength that the people who were actually working out did 
So this is for real. This is a real thing. Uh, those who study this know this to be true. Um, when you visualize and practice visualization, you, you, you are, your mind doesn't know the difference. Your mind doesn't know the difference between an actual lived out thing and something vividly imagined. This was learned, by the way, during the Olympics of, I think, uh, 76 or 72, I can't remember which one it was, where Dennis Whitley, the psychology guy, was working with Carl Lewis, and they put electrodes on his body, and they had him imagine in the locker room the race, the same muscles in the same sequence at the same speed, you know, uh, fired when he imagined the race as if he was running it, okay? So uh, it's a big thing and it's an important thing. And then the last one, manage your energy, not time. If you're tired and you come to trading, if you're exhausted from long day of work or because you have been in an argument with your spouse all day long or you're fighting uh, a legal battle or whatever, you're going to be exhausted coming in. It's just not a good way to focus. When you are tired, your focus wanders very easily because you basically your brain is telling you, we need a break, we need to go to sleep is what we need to do, you know? So uh, four things, eliminate distractions, eliminate multitasking, practice visualization, and manage your energy, not your time. Uh, somebody just bumped my car over here, so I had to give them the eye. <laughs> anyway, this is Robert Rivera with the Rivera Training Group in association with Train Training Academy. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you like the content that's being given, please comment and uh, subscribe. All right? God bless you all. Bye.